EES, which is pronounced EASE, is an acronym for Engineering Equation Solver. EASE provides the ability to generate a curve fit, that is, to generate a function that represents a set of data or results in which a dependent variable is a function of only a single independent variable. So as an example, this table illustrates thermal conductivity data at various temperatures. This video is going to focus on curve fitting data from a plot. So any set of data that exists on a plot in ease can be used as the basis of a curve fit. And therefore the first step is to uh, enter the data here in a lookup table and then use these data to generate a plot uh, as shown here. So once the plot has been generated, you can select Curve Fit from the Plots menu in order to access the Curve Fit Plotted Data dialog that's shown here. So in this dialog, the left window shows each of the data series that are uh, in the plot. So in this case, there's only one. It's conductivity K as a function of temperature T. And then on the right side over here, you can select from a number of different mathematical forms for the Curve Fit. And then as you do that, you can see that the corresponding equation is shown uh, in this window here at the bottom of the dialog. And the unknown coefficients that have to be adjusted to achieve the best fit are indicated in this, in this equation as A0, A1, uh, etc. So for example, here I'm going to select a second order polynomial. And you can see that down here, the dependent variable K is equal to uh, A0 plus A1 times T plus A2 times T squared. So when the fit button is selected, Ease will attempt to determine the best values of these undetermined coefficients using the linear least squares method. And then the result is shown here in the bottom window and you can see now that the equation is uh, shown in red font and the unknown variables have been replaced with their best fit values. So there's several useful options that appear in the dialog once the curve fit has been determined. Um, so you can see here if I check uh, place equation on plot, uh, this option is going to cause the uh, mathematical equation itself uh, to be uh, placed right on the plot with the curve fit. Uh, if I uh, select copy equation to the clipboard, then that's going to cause this equation to be placed in the clipboard so that I can subsequently paste it into uh, the equations window or any other application where I might want to use it. Uh, this plot button causes the curve fit to be overlaid right onto the plot that you were using uh, to hold the data. So here you can see the curve fit with the equation and now if I go to the equations window and select paste you can see that the equation has been pasted from the clipboard right into the equations window. Uh, the stats button allows access to the curve fit statistics dialog that's shown here. Um, you can see uh, the value of each of the coefficients and you can see their standard error. Uh, you can also see the RMS and the bias errors of the curve fit itself. So the RMS error of a curve fit is computed according to this equation and it is an indication of the deviation between the curve fit and the data. And in this equation n is the number of data points, uh, y sub i is the value of the dependent variable and then y sub mi is the value of the dependent variable estimated from the curve fit. Uh, the bias error is computed according to this equation and the bias error provides an indication of a more systematic bias uh, in the curve fit so uh, an overestimate or or an underestimate that is associated with the curve fit uh, finally it's, it's also possible to enter a custom equation form into the curve fit plotted data dialog uh, if you don't want to use any of these standard forms so for example maybe we want to curve fit uh, the equation shown here. Right? This is not a standard curve fit, uh, standard function that you can select. Uh, these uh, coefficients a0, a1, and a2 uh, should be adjusted then to minimize the difference between the data and this curve fit. And the way you do this then is you select uh, again curve fit from the plot menu, uh, then you select here enter edit equation, and you enter the functional form that you'd like to use and make sure that any uh, unknown coefficient that should be ad adjusted is entered as A0, A1, uh, etc. And when you're done then you would select uh, fit in order to bring up the dialog shown here uh, which allows you to enter guess values and limits for these unknown coefficients 
And then finally you select OK in order to uh, attempt to obtain the best fit values of A0, A1, A2, and so forth. And then the resulting curve fit uh, is shown here. All right, so this is one of a series of tutorials that's meant to describe the operation of the EASE software. If you'd like to get more information about EASE, uh, obtain the software, or access more of these tutorials, please go to the website fchartsoftware.com. These tutorials are excerpted from the book Mastering Ease, which can also be obtained from the FChart software website.